Pakistan is more than just agriculture and village life. It's also about technological advancements. In today's vlog, I want to show you DevSync, the largest and fastest growing IT company that offers software and marketing services to a diverse spectrum of clients. This is our outside sitting area, fitness plan according to their bodies. This huh. is our like in-house salon for our employees. This corporation amazed me by its massive building and large number of employees that work together as a big family. We are meeting with Usman Asif, who is CEO of the I've seen company. It's not about the idea. It's about the problem that you're trying to solve. Culture is if the employee feels like they belong here. By my own keen interest in Pakistan's tech achievements, I came here to explore and show it to you, my dear viewer. If you are ready, let's get started. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Hello. Nice to meet you, Vera. So girls, I'm really happy to be here right now with you. Would you like to introduce where we're right now so then we can explore together? Yes. Yeah. So first of all, uh, we're so excited to host you guys here. Thank you so much for coming here. And you guys are present at DevSync. So it's like the fast fastest growing IT company in Pakistan. And for our introduction, uh, we are the marketing executive for this company. Um, my name is Soha and I'm Iman. Yes. Iman. Okay, so Iman and Soha, nice to meet you girls. Yes, and we're so excited to show you around our infrastructure and our workforce and what we do here. So let's have Definitely a look this is the yeah. new thing that I have seen in Pakistan. So that's why guys I call all of you to watch the video to the end because it's mesmerizing. Okay, we can yeah. go? Yes. Let's go. Oh my god, they're using their face check so it's like something modern okay. technology. That's why they're calling growing IT company. <laughs> yeah. Every time they try to update and make something new in their IT companies. Great example. So this is our ground floor mm -hmm. and um, for the ground floor, we have uh, mostly our uh, marketing, our HA, our admin, security. Basically our operations department. Yeah, so operations, operations department. And we have a couple of things here. Okay, girls, uh, the first end thing. So your company works with also foreign companies, like yeah, yeah. some kind of uh, yes. we have a lot of partnership. relationship, partnerships. Yeah. Yes. Um, we have mostly events with Google. <laughs> Um, we have partnered up with IBM, with Microsoft, in various projects. Um, do I hold this? No, it's yeah. fine, you just yeah. can explain, um, yeah. So yeah, we, basically with IBM, one of our partnerships was about empowering our engineers and diversifying their skills. Yes. Um, so we partnered up with them for various projects, but specifically to um, provide certifications to our engineers, not just for our company, but in general. And with Microsoft as well, we have a lot of partnerships in this regard to better um, support mm -hmm. the IT industry in Pakistan um, with international standards and to see that we provide the same opportunities for our engineers as you will see internationally. So yeah, I've heard that in Pakistan and yeah. India, you have the greatest engineers in the world. <laughs> yes, we do. Yeah. So this is a very Probably outstanding so. thing that I know about yeah, local yeah. people. So yeah, this is ground floor is dedicated yes. for some taking rest or? Our, so again, as we mentioned, yes. uh, a lot of our operational uh, departments function here. Like this is marketing. Yeah. This is where we reside. Yes. <laughs> and then That's this marketing. is our human asset department. So we do not call them human resource. Instead, we call them human assets because that is something that we believe that nobody is a resource. Yeah. They're assets. They're just not not just resources, right? So we yeah. treat them as assets and we value them. That is how we show our value. So what do you mean with the word asset? Mm. Asset is basically something that you have that is, you know, um, integral to yeah. the functioning of any organization. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, when you talk in business terms, you have business assets, right? Uh -huh. So our employees their minds, their motivation, their dedication, that is our main asset. Okay. And we don't just want to minimize their impact within our organization um, in the world resources. Mm -hmm. So we make sure that we make it known how important they are to us. Okay, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. So we also have like a couple of things here. So um, this is our coffee or cold bar that we call. Mm -hmm. And right now it's not operational, but um, so... We have our uh, yeah. um, own little thing um, for like juices yeah. and refreshments. Um, it's called Drink Sink. Yeah. So we have an in-house arrangement, an in-house juice bar, yeah. where our, our employees can get healthy juices, smoothies, yeah. milkshakes, anything of the sort, whatever they want throughout the day to refresh. Them. Yeah. So the bartender comes a little later, but mm -hmm. yeah, he'll be here soon, so you guys can always have fresh juice oh. or anything you guys want. 
And then one interesting thing that we do have is our Paws and Pages library. So we have, um, you know, exotic birds and a really cute cat. Um, so this is our Paws and Pages library. This is um, Coco. <laughs> Coco. Coco uh, she is a uh, Persian punch face mm. cat. We call her our happiness officer. Yes. So she <laughs> plays a very important role in Devsing. Uh, yes. She makes sure that everybody is happy and can get cuddles whenever they want. <laughs> so yeah. Um, yeah, I've heard cats play main yeah. role in the happiness of her. Uh, yeah. She loves coming outside, oh, yeah. roaming around. Mm -hmm. yeah. She loves to explore. Yes. Um, happiness officer. <laughs> yes, our happiness officer. Nice. Thing. And then we have nice um, a lot of birds here. The lights are off. Hold on, let me turn the lights on. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh, you already yes. see it. Oh, there's something. Macau. Look at these guys. They actually uh, do, um, if you like put your hands out there like that, they actually um, Give me grab, face? On to, uh, oh, no, no, no. grab onto it. Okay. But right now, he's having his own little time, so... Okay, okay. <laughs> Not bothering you. Yeah, <laughs> and then we have one there as well. Um, he's just doing his own thing. He's a, he's a crazy one here. Um, oh, yeah. Everything that is a bit damaged here, he's responsible for that. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he plays around. A he lot to make this place mm. yeah. So charismatic. Look at this, like how he is moving his head like this. Oh yeah, yeah. And then we I also guess he understands that we are taking friend, the video. Right? Him. Best friend? Yeah, that. Huh. One. They're both a bit crazy. <laughs> <laughs> we also have the third one here, but he's out so there cute. somewhere exploring. So um, yeah, <laughs> oh, we don't know exactly where he is, but yeah. he's out there somewhere. This neighborhood yeah. is like somewhere in nature. Yeah, and so uh, they have their own separate uh, caretaker and yeah. they always have like weekly wet visits. Mm -hmm. So they make sure that they are at their best health, they are being, um, you know, fed good quality food. And also, you know, uh, the cat, so the cat has a lot of space and also the birds have a lot of space and, you know, uh, you can we see the nuts and stuff. To maintain them yeah. During the day, make sure that cocoa is clean, make sure yeah. Mm. Same for the birds. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so cute. Common pet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone. How many uh, employees do you have? We have. Uh, we're currently a growing company of eighteen hundred plus employees. Wow. So yeah. Um, and so Coco is pet and kid for Coco all eight hundred plus eighteen hundred employees. Yeah. We actually. Uh, one of our core members. Yeah, she's <laughs> our core member, and nice. yeah. Okay. But we have, uh, we don't, uh, this is not just our one office, yeah. we actually have an office in Islamabad and then we also have an office in Dubai and oh, wow. also an office in San Francisco. So, oh, yeah. so big. Okay. Yeah. So which one is the biggest one? In which city? Uh, this one is the biggest one. Yeah. And uh -huh. then for San Francisco, that's our headquarters. And Dubai is just starting up. Okay. And Islamabad is also pretty big. Yeah. So wow. yeah. We are expanding our operations throughout the world actively. Yeah. We mm -hmm. have different teams sent to San Francisco to the world. Okay, that's great. Yes. Okay, this is my first experience to be in contact with uh, IT people. <laughs> so I'm just chemical engineering. I've never yeah. been oh. in contact with uh, IT technology people. So this is good example yeah, yeah. <laughs> to be uh, to witness such huge corporation yeah. which is maintaining a lot of different kind of projects. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So in our workplace, we have a lot of different corners where we can just chill and hang out. So this is like one of my and um, Iman's favorite place. And we like to escape. Yes, whenever like work gets too much for us, this is the place we come to. So we have a little seating area here and then also there. Mm -hmm. Hiding spots. Yes. And a bunch of seats here and a bunch of bean bags there. Wow. Amazing. I like the colors that you have inside. Oh the yeah, we, we have like a lot of colors here. So I'll as you notice guys, it's like different types of colors and usually they are light eye-catching colors. Yeah. Wow. How we call this in English? Uh, a hammock? Hammock. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, the same like in Russian hammock. Can I, can oh, I yeah, use it? Oh yeah, of course you can. You can set. Okay. Be careful. <laughs> So yeah, oh. you can um, just come here, chill, order in food, and just have food here. And it's also a very quiet place to work. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 
So I wish we could have this kind of cooperation in Kazakhstan. <laughs> yeah, this is a great yeah. example, guys. If you are watching from cool. Kazakhstan or Russia, just try to get some ideas from this cooperation. It's really cute. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best conditions for workers. I've never seen such kind of job in my life. <laughs> I wish I can work here also for you guys. <laughs> to have such good conditions. Yeah. Okay. Great. Oi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I need to do some uh, workout. Do you have work workout place? Oh, also? yeah, of course. We have, we, we have in house gym and, and, and so on. So, if you have. If, because, like, um, we, if you need a more guided workout routine, yeah. you can always go to her. And she will also guide you according to your goals and your needs. Whether you're looking to gain strength, whether uh -huh. you're looking to gain strength in specific parts of the body. Yes. She will cater to all your so what here. about uh, the attending of gym? Is it uh, like for free for employees? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. workers? It's, yeah. it's totally free of cost. Uh -huh. And, uh -huh. and hours after free. gym, when you have like showered and stuff, if you feel like getting a blowout or a haircut, we also have a salon right by it. Uh -huh. So and it's also like, you know. So here is already gym. So the doors are separate, like yeah. women door. Ladies and men, yeah? yeah? Gentlemen. All right. So let's look at Ladies gym? Yes. Okay, girls? Yes. So this is our gym facility. Okay. Uh, it's free of cost and it's there to motivate our employees to work out and work on their health. You know, they work eight hours a day. So we always encourage them to take a slot out for themselves and just come here, work on their body strength and just achieve their health goals. We also do have a trainer here. Um, so for our, um, we, our gym is like divided into two sections. For, so we have a gym for women and then we have a gym for men and each gym has their own trainers and the trainers kind of like make sure that, you know, every single employee has their own tailored, um, you know, plans and fitness plans and, you know, the workouts they should be doing according to their bodies and then also you can see a lot of equipment yeah. here so many equipment yeah. so all this equipment the same for male and uh, female yes. Yeah, yes. Like, okay and also like if somebody needs like something new like yeah. some someone requires that equipment that you know is very important to work out they will arrange that for them mm -hmm. and so we have this changing room here and so we have showers and you know all the hair tools you might need to dry off your hair Okay. And lockers are in there as well, a mm. bunch of dumbbells and everything. Wow, yeah. amazing. So, have you ever tried to oh, yeah. join this gym um, club? <laughs> yeah. Maybe you can show me one of them so I can show to my audience that I'm also mm. a sporty person, just on camera. <laughs> okay, which one I can try? You can try. Have you um, done them before? What? Like, have you used any of this? Um, to be honest, not much. I <laughs> only do stretching. I hope it's not the fastest one. Oh, no. I just okay start okay first of all no 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 have your feet up on the side yeah <laughs> okay I'm wearing all the warm stuff okay so I just start now okay <laughs> okay where's the speed aha uh -huh, I see okay this one so after staying in Pakistan four months, I've got two kilos extra weight, guys. <laughs> because we eat so many food. Yeah, I think for the citizens of Pakistan, going to gym is very important. Because you have so many types of food, local daisy food. Okay. Okay, great. Huh? Okay, it has been a great experience. I think I lost one <laughs> gram of my weight, <laughs> maybe 0.1. Yeah. Okay, looking great. So we can go? Yes, so this was the gym and do you want to have a look at the salon? Yes, definitely. Yeah. All right, so this is our D salon. So this huh. is our like in-house salon for our employees. And this is like pretty much everything you can get done from here. Mm -hmm. And so from the actual market price, we get a lot of like discounted prices here. And also you can avail a haircut here and you know, probably a blowout and it's on the yes. house. <laughs> so, yes. Uh, so they were asking what kind of service do I want? To be honest, I want everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because as a woman, yeah, we yeah. want to look very pretty. So everything 
that we mm -hmm. need to look pretty. Mm -hmm. They have, and this is called barber shop. So you, it means that men also come here for haircuts. Oh yeah, so they have like different timings. Uh -huh. So right now it's for only female. Yeah, female. Okay. And okay. you can see they have like a lot of product here, and also like you know they're experienced. So you are mm -hmm. in good hands. Okay. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have no doubt. So. Um, I can have haircut, right? Oh yeah. You okay. Can have. Okay. That's amazing because it's split in my hair. This <laughs> thing I need to cut it. Wow, guys, look at this. I think I'm looking so pretty thanks to the hairstyler Rubab. Bohut shukriya. Yeah. So, by the way, the name of this place, barber shop. You can take also this side. That's amazing. Thank you, girls, for giving such amazing chance to change my style. <laughs> okay. So we have to go to other sites, right? Yeah. Okay, Chale, let's go. So now we are at the fifth floor. Yes. So which is called? It's Shafiq Emmet Square. It's uh, named after Badr Shafiq, who is our vice president, president, one of the vice president of Dev Singh. Uh, it's named after his father. And one thing in Dev Singh we do is we really make our employees our center um of our values and you know everything that we stand for so uh, you know Badr Shafiq has contributed a lot to Dev Singh and you know to honor that to recognize that mm -hmm. um, he had the opportunity to you know dedicate a floor to the name of his father yeah that's so. really amazing that every floor yeah we have the names of the employees yeah. employers who work before here yeah yeah so it's like in the way of appreciation to their work that they have done like yeah. effort all the implements so they are calling the squares yeah. that's amazing and then these are like our meeting rooms and colombia <laughs> yeah so each meeting room has its own unique name so this one is called um, the colombia river uh yeah sure do you guys want us to turn on the lights yeah yeah the it's yeah. fine we can and so this set. one is called the universal studio hollywood uh-huh yeah wow so also these are so our colorful meeting rooms. inside yeah <laughs> you, you guys can come inside okay yeah so mm -hmm. whenever like our employees need to make any sort of like client call or needs you know a little bit of a space that you know is silent they can always just come in here book the uh, you know meeting room and just take their calls so they don't lose focus and are not like you know distracted from everything else that's going outside so and every single meeting room is very colorful in paint and in furniture because it promotes you know kind of like uh, productiveness in okay. our employees mm -hmm. and we really want that here at devzing so there's that yeah it's it's uh, like sensible that it's voice protected yeah, yeah because outside little noise but here it's yeah. totally peaceful so if you're having one-on-one -on -one meetings it's important uh -huh. to to that's so nice let's go let's go hi every single floor has these pods and so you can if you don't want to like sit at your work uh, work desk you can always just come around here and just you know these work are also quiet zones, yeah so if you want to we're having a good time yeah and so these are more yeah. opened um the one that is parallel there mm -hmm. uh, it's more closed so you can you know if That's you like for one person yeah these are for like one person pods so you can always like wow. you know just That's come around nice. here nice yeah so there are different type of emotions of people. Someone are extrovert, someone introvert. So yeah. for introverts, this side. <laughs> Every single floor has its own kitchens and kitchen guys and boys. And basically, they cater to our employees whenever they want coffee or tea or anything. Every floor has their own coffee machine, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And also, like if you don't want like a machine coffee, you also have these guys here, so they can make you coffee according wow. to your order so yeah okay so we can have different types of yes. drinks like well, kashmiri tea karak tea exactly everything what do you want Their cardamom you like latte it's super good if you want to try cardamom okay denise wants latte then i will try cardamom latte yeah. 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 yeah cardamom latte yeah okay so this is the cardamom latte yeah 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 so this is the it has little sweet taste. So you said cardamom chai, yeah? Cardamom chai, yeah. Okay, let's try. You can try the cardamom. Wow, <laughs> amazing taste. Ooh, very good. Cardamom chai? Yeah, she's having the chai. Cardamom tea. 
You can go to latte. <laughs> so every floor has bean bags, um, couches, and everything. You know, mm -hmm. um, because sometimes it gets a little exhausting to sit at your workstation for eight hours. So we make sure that our employees have like the option to sit literally wherever they want. Um, we do not have like strict rules to be present on your desk all the time. So yeah. And mm -hmm. again, it's like pretty spacious, so everybody can have their own personal space wherever they want to get it from. No. So these slides are not irritating. Oh yeah. <laughs> I like these slides yeah. because some offices they have such very yes. light and it makes your eyes so mm. tired. Exactly. So yeah. This is a really nice. We place. do not really have any strict rules uh -huh. about that. Like if you don't want to have lights in your office, you really can just turn it off anytime. Wow. <laughs> so really, it's it's really yes. flexible out flexible out here. Yeah. And then again, we have named our meeting rooms with, you know, famous like places and stuff. Queen so, Mary. Yeah, it's like fairy Queen. building. Yeah. So there's that. So m many of them are just like names of movies, like yeah, that, yeah, movies books. and like places, mm -hmm. you know. Um, so yeah, that's okay. That. that sounds great. Let's go. So we always like encourage them to like draw and put out their best work on their workstation. So this is like one of the creative guys here. You can see Naruto and you know mm -hmm. Dragon Ball Z characters, and yeah, and yeah. we always like um, so like every now and then we have this like um, art club. That is basically you know, a club that encourages our developers and our employees to um, showcase their inner artists. So this is like some of the work they do during that club and you know, so yeah. And also we have this food club thing. So every Friday uh, around like 6 or 7 p.m. we have a bonfire on our 8th floor and um, you know people sing and they talk and you know they share their life stories and stuff and they eat food and that is like totally free food. Um, and it's it's a good bonding. It's experience. only during Fridays, yeah. Yeah, Fridays. every Friday. Because like we believe like towards the end of the week, yeah. Huh. But like towards the end of the week, because we believe like you know once you go back home, you want to relax and you know so you might want to have also something fun in the office as well. So just to tie up the week together, uh, we do that food club thing. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. How many shifts do you have? Um, so it depends on the team you are on, on the designation you have. So for example, Iman and I are, you know, we are in marketing. So our shift is like from the noon to the night. So it's like 12 to 8. And then for most of our uh, engineers here, um, they work with the clients. And you know, when you're working with clients that are based in the US or somewhere around, you know, not in Pakistan, um, you kind of like have to adjust with their timings. So mostly, a lot of like our developers and engineers work uh, from five to like one or you know in between that hours hmm. so yeah so by the way they, they also provide students who just completed from their study yeah. at the universities and uh, for the students who are still doing their like yeah. uh, bachelors you also provide like internship yeah, yeah, while do, they're studying yeah we do have like in yeah uh -huh. so we have like internship batches and so the purpose of them is to give them the exposure of the IT landscape mm -hmm. and equip them with skills that might help them later when they ba uh, when they you know graduate and for our you know um, so our company also does recruitment drives so what they do is they go to different universities and they pick up students they take their interviews and employ them here so devsing is not this typical corporate that would like want people to just show up to the office and give interviews they would go to you and you know make sure that at the comfort of your own university you are giving out interviews and you're like you know you're um, being interviewed by the HR and you get the job if you are you know if you kind of like this is great support yeah. for students yes that's so. amazing because I've heard there are many unemployed yeah. students yes. nowadays in Pakistan but if you were doing this kind of like interaction yes. with students it, yes. it helps a lot for and like youngsters. most of our work our workforce is really young so we're like a young company in that matter and you know um, we really encourage students to join us and a lot of like fresh graduates and that's why you know we go to universities by ourselves and um, interview these uh, young kids and encourage them to join mm -hmm. our company. DevSync is just not about like employing these people and making them work for you know the company. 
they also really believe in the entrepreneur mindset. So what they do is they encourage them to start something of their own as well. Uh, we have a founders club and we have supported like 800 plus uh, startups. Um, and you know what that does is, uh, is basically equip people to have their own business going on. So we're really just not a typical corporate that would just want you to work <laughs> just for us, but we encourage you to go out there, explore and do something for yourself as well. So yeah. they support like freedom lifestyle rather than red lifestyle, right? Do you understand what I mean? Red? Yeah, yeah. Yes, that yes. Every day it's the same, so you would yeah. just work for someone. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> you encourage innovation and creativity. Yeah. So two most so important things. New thing that anyone has yeah. like the creativity for, and if they have the drive for it to work on it, mm -hmm. our company would actively support that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And encourage that in So guys, if you are thinking about to become IT, just come to DevSync if you have any of your ideas. They are yeah. here to support you. Yes. <laughs> Let's go. So this is our sixth floor mm -hmm. and on sixth floor we have a meditation room and also we have in-house therapist. So we as a company are a big advocate for mental health. We believe that, you know, um, working in a corporate um, landscape and environment, you can kind of get really worked up. And you know, uh, apart from work, you can have a lot of like things that you know goes on in one's life. So to acknowledge that those struggles and also like to have a healthy mindset, we encourage them to visit our therapist, and she basically gives out great therapy sessions. So really, just um, we really believe like. Uh, if you ha need a healthy body, you also need a healthy mind. Yes, you are um, right. So yeah, uh, we um, have entered our meditation room. So basically, the rules of our meditation room is to not use your phone, um, be in touch with your feelings, just sit here, maybe just sit quietly, or we also have, you know, um, coloring uh, pages here, so you can really just focus on one thing. Uh, you can color, you can probably like read books and mm -hmm. just really be present with yourself. Wow. Yeah. So, and I used to paint like this and <laughs> drawing, painting. Yeah. And every Tuesday we have uh, philosophy classes here. Mm -hmm. So our CEO heads those classes and he basically teaches everyone about different school of thoughts and different elements and aspects of philosophy. Again, that is a great way to connect with the meaning of life basically and a lot of things that are around us so really just a lot of room for introspection and uh, again we um, really really push this mindset that you know um, you're just not here to work you also are here to take care of yourself and these are the facilities that you know kind of like aid into that um, we also have our in-house therapist I think she's busy right now okay yeah. okay yeah she's, uh, she's in the middle yeah she's in the middle of a session, session. Yeah. We also have our in-house podcast and it basically discusses different aspects of IT and different people and their stories who have, you know, made themselves big out there, entrepreneurs. And so we have all of that startup here. It's called Out of Sync. Um, so we basically record these podcasts here and that's the whole setup for that. So yeah, wow. it's... Yeah, it's it's, out it's of good sync. production. Yeah, out of sync. Yeah, and then that's the logo for our company. That's yeah, wow. and our guest today will you will be you guys. <laughs> so we're excited for that okay. as well. Inshallah. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Thank you. So this is going to be our second podcast. We are having a podcast right now. What is your good name? Fahad. Fahad. Okay, yeah. Fahad. And Mera Nam Balnur. Yeah, I got Urdu Nam Shahad Nur. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Banu. Banu, I think it's in Gilgit Baltistan. They, it's called like Mike Princess. Okay, okay. Okay. Mike. So we can start. Okay. 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 And we recently started to know that people are earning from other things as well. And one of the interesting things is uh, traveling. So when it comes to traveling, we had a, a guest visit DevSync, the DevSync building. And uh, she's sitting with us today. We're going to explore her journey and what led her to Pakistan. So we have Bal Noor with us today. She's originally from Kazakhstan and has 
traveled over 16 countries in only the last 1.5 years so without further ado welcome or welcome to the show assalamu alaikum shukriya thank you for your invitation perfect uh, so uh, before i start everything uh, what brought you to pakistan what brought me to pakistan uh, i think the first sign also of pakistan is our friend from pakistan okay. who studies in kazakhstan <laughs> uh, nowadays not just like nowadays i think last uh, 15 years there are a lot of pakistani students in kazakhstan <laughs> who are doing their mbbs Okay. And um so one of our friend he was doing his masters in Kazakhstan mm. in you know it's very interesting but he is doing in literature of Kazakh mm. language so he is learning my mother language Pakistani guy and uh, that guy uh, showed me Pakistani hospitality within being in Kazakhstan he has invited to his house yeah. he has treated us with biryani uh, chutney biryani lassi i th- i don't know how but they found all the ingredients in Kazakhstan or mm. maybe they also order from Pakistan yeah so after meeting him uh, i've got to know uh, that p- pakistani people are so hospitable not only he but also i've talked to some, to some people online from Pakistan when i was improving my english language pakistani people can mm. speak very well english <laughs> so and as we are travel vloggers mm. our aim is to visit 195 countries in the world okay. so pakistan was our the t- our target to explore uh, and to show it on our youtube channel so because we are youtubers mm-hmm. and many people don't know a uh, pure image of pakistan yeah especially people from Kazakhstan or Russia or mm-hmm. CIS countries i mean post soviet countries yeah. so um and not only that countries but also foreign countries so through our youtube channel we try to show a mm-hmm. uh, pure image of pakistan you talked about another person traveling with you so we do have him behind the camera but how does that work out uh you guys travel together yes so uh, he is my husband ye mere shohar hai yeah mere shohar bahut pyara i know some urdu so uh, the main idea of traveling and maintaining doing youtube channel is yeah. his idea okay, okay. Uh, because my background i'm chemical engineer oh. i'm not far from your uh, like field like yeah. you are software engineer i'm chemical engineer yeah. so um starting youtube channel was little struggling for me because i'm person of another field but mm-hmm. my husband he is a full time youtuber even before our meeting before we started to date he already had his own youtube channel and already during that time while we were dating he asked me to participate in his videos okay, okay. then after we started doing youtube and it was so catching i mean it was so entertaining interesting to uh, share your opinion mm. or to show your country to other out other like audience and exactly. uh, um, we were that time staying in kazakhstan but it, because it was covid when mm. covid completed and borders started to be open he said let's travel uh, after getting married when we got our parents permission to get mm. married so we can live together we can travel so since that time i think already yeah already 2 years uh, we are traveling together with my husband to be honest this is my first experience to visit such corporation in my life this place is very unique as a workspace because i've heard that you also encourage your employees uh, there are so many activities around work they can mm. even have can have a nap yeah. so in the workspace having nap is amazing it makes people relaxed yeah. to enjoy their life not uh, just to live for work they mm-hmm. live for themselves as well they, they enjoy their work they love mm-hmm. their work it's not pushing or uh, there is no uh, force them yeah, to work yeah. yeah so that is really amazing so about this peaceful place yeah. so i think it's not the same like in lahore lahore mm-hmm. is another level yeah. <laughs> so yeah but zishan our friend he was always guiding us mm-hmm. he was so um kind uh generous and uh, Uh, not only he but before he we have uh, been hosted by many pakistani people so we are here for months and only one month we paid for our guest house i think only two week two yeah. weeks all the time so i think more than like uh, three months or around four months we've been living for free Yeah. So because people host us, yeah. they feed us. We have our breakfast, we have lunch or dinner and uh, <clears throat> from our side because we see that people are good to us. Myself I also try to cook for them. 
So whenever someone hosts us, I cook our traditional food to them to show mm. us how we are also hospitable. Yeah. And I really appreciate that they are hosting us, being kind to us. That's and inshallah, uh, whenever we go back to Kazakhstan, I, I'd like to host everyone. You can come to Kazakhstan, please, sure. because uh, Kazakhstan people also hospitable, but might be not the same level of, at, as Pakistan, mm -hmm. but I'm learning a lot from Pakistani people. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the gift from Kazakhstan. Okay. Uh, I know that you like tea. Yeah. This is tea from Kazakhstan. Okay. So uh, if you see, there is our national flag. Mm -hmm. And uh, on the national flag, you might see sun, eagle, mm -hmm. and our patterns, and uh, blue color. Mm -hmm. Blue color is the sign of sky. Okay. So your sky is um, always open, no, yeah. no cloud. Mm -hmm. So the sun means uh, warm, mm -hmm. and eagle means freedom. So all of these things are sign of us, yeah. Kazakh people, and I'm giving it to you. As a memory from Kazakhstan. I hope Pakistan you will like the tea. <laughs> yeah, Pakistanis, as Pakistanis, we, we love tea. Yes. So I'm sure I'm going to have a really good week. And I'm going to stay up the entire week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank for you. Oh, it smells food. Yes. Mazaydar. <laughs> yes. It's basically, uh, this is our rooftop. And this is our outside sitting area for our employees to eat their food or chill or hang out. It's a bit foggy right now because it's winters in Pakistan. Yeah. But we get the uh, you know the view of the whole skyline here, and it's really just very cozy and really just good here. You know, if you want to have dinner, lunch, because we're uh, basically um, serving food all the time, and we have you know uh, so you can't really see here, but this is our kitchen, and it's like making the food like freshly. Every single batch is fresh made, and it's up to the you know food qualities and standards. And we also have the in, uh, inside, this is our in-house cafeteria with free food. So, yeah. Um, this is our um, serving station. So for today, we have uh, dal chawal here. And then that basically is our refilling station. So if you want to eat more, you can always get it refilled. Again, free, you just need to get your face ID checked there. So just uh, the system needs to know who is being fed. And we also have a vending machine here, so if you don't want to eat like, um, you know, the normal food, you can always grab a snack and just, you know, serve yourself like that. And then that Come is our... your boys. Yeah. <laughs> and then that is our salad bar. So if you want to have fresh veggies with your food or, you know, anything, you can always grab it from here. And once you're done eating, you can always just stop by here. We have foosball, we have pool table tennis that Valnur is very very excited about yes I and want to play table tennis <laughs> right now <laughs> and then we also have PlayStation so if you don't want to like play any of this stuff here you can always just switch it on and just play whatever you want Taken is very famous here a lot of guys love it a lot of girls love it so yeah you can probably try some of these activities and have fun So now guys, we are meeting with Usman Asif, who is CEO of DevSync company, IT uh, growing, developing IT company. Yes? Yeah, fastest <laughs> growing IT company in Pakistan. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So um, my question is, how would you come across with this kind of idea to build such huge corporation like we visited today? Yeah, I think, uh, so there are, there are two, three types of businesses in the world, mm -hmm. essentially. Uh, and understanding what type of business are you are in and understanding the problem that you're trying to solve. If you can really understand that, it's not about the idea. It's about the problem that you're trying to solve, right? Yes. Um, so what we understood was that we are in the business of uh, human leverage. You, you remember McDonald's CEO said once that we are not in the business of burgers, we are in the business of um, uh, real estate, right? I used to say 10 years ago that we are not in the business of tech. We are in the business of humans, mm -hmm. okay? Because we uh, human assets and human capital is all we are developing. And that's what we sell. Uh, and once we understood that, it became really easy because we invest in our people, our people grow us. Okay, yeah. okay, I got it. So how long 
it will take, it, I mean, it took to build until this level. So we started in 2009, but really uh, in 2016, roughly six, seven years ago, we were six-ish employees. Everything was going down, um, six-ish employees and not making revenue. Our projects were leaving, uh, going and our people were leaving. And that's when we fixed our people culture, people-centric culture that we have right now. And since then, we have been growing more than 100% every year. So okay. roughly six-ish years is what it took for us to become the fastest growing company. You have started already a long time ago. So how you maintain being motivated always to do, to improve your workspace, to improve this co uh, corporate? Yeah, it's not possible for us to remain motivated. Mm -hmm. See, motivation is a drug. And like every drug, um, if you are motivated to do something, you will be unmotivated very soon too, because every up has a down, okay, right? Okay. Every drug has a withdrawal. Mm -hmm. So for me, this is passion. For me, this is exactly what I want to do. Like if money is not an object, I would do the same thing again and again. And I would not even think about it. So essentially, this is very, um, there is very cliche term that people say that, okay, uh, work hard so that you don't have to work in your life, like work on your passion so that your work become your thing, you know? That's not right, but I think the idea of life is to minimize work. Like, don't do things that uh, you would not do if money is not an object. And work hard to make that kind of money so that you can make such statements. And I personally believe that uh, 3 million if you're living in Pakistan or 7-ish seven, seven million if you're living anywhere in the world is the amount uh, in US dollars that if you can make that, money should not be an object for you, right? Mm -hmm. yes. So after that, you should work on your passion. You should work on things that um, really make you happy. And this is what makes me happy. So I, I'm motivated all the time. So I've heard you also try to engage your employees, yeah, to keep thinking not only like about work, but also philosophy. Yeah. They also have their time to yeah. be meditated, yeah? Yeah. yeah. So the, the interesting thing is that uh, the, the organization in general are confused that what is the culture of an organization, right? So if people ask what is the culture of an organization, you would think maybe if the people are engaged, they are happy, that's the culture. No, that's not the culture. Culture is if the employee feels like they belong here, you mm -hmm. know? Sense of belonging is the word in my opinion, is what culture is. So they never betray you. Yeah. It's belonging like home. Yeah, yes. and, and, and so uh, home is essentially not a place. It's not a four wall thing. It's it's essentially a feeling that you get that, okay, I, I, I belong here. I, I'm safe here. I'll grow here. Okay. Nobody will judge me here. My my, my my manager is essentially somebody that I can trust that they will they will actually care for me. You know, okay. if we can produce that kind of culture at every level, then it's a disruptive company and no one can stop it, you know? And then their company has to have a mission also, right? So, and, and everyone should have, should own that mission. So they should not be doing it because, okay, Usman is doing it. They should be doing it because, yeah, that's my mission. I should be doing it, you know? So if you go out, when you are on your way out, ask the guard if he knows the mission of the company. If he knows the mission of the company, that's my success as a CEO. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't, then that's a failure on my end. And okay. I should work on that. So everyone should be motivated on the mission. Okay, I yeah. got it. So uh, you build this company by only yourself or you have friends, partners? No, I. Uh, so we, we were two co-founders, but the, the, the other co-founder left in like first, uh, first or second month. Mm -hmm. And so since then, I've been a single founder. Um, mm -hmm. okay. um, but I've had good employees, very, very good employees. Okay. Yeah. So I know that you are very good at software, but what about <laughs> team building? It was, was it difficult? Because for ourselves being YouTuber, it's difficult uh, to find team, yeah. to make team uh, who can support, who can help. Maybe you can guide us, give some advice how to make good team or it will take time. You have to struggle it. <laughs> I don't yeah. know. Yeah. We as humans are very concerned with results, very concerned with winning. Like we want to become rich, right? But we don't focus on things that attract wealth, mm -hmm. right? So as human, you cannot focus on the result. You cannot focus on building a good team. You can focus on be becoming a good leader who can attract a good team. Okay. Energy is attract. Okay. You've got to develop this energy where people can feel attracted towards you, mm -hmm. right? It's less important that you have a good team. It's more important that you become a good leader who can attract good team. Okay. You okay. know, okay. so don't attach yourself with the results because that's, that's what makes you unhappy, you know, because you cannot control. Uh, so Socrates said that if, um, if you, uh, if you, if you become worried about things that you cannot control, it will make you unhappy, you know? And so pff, results I cannot control. Yes. All I can control is that okay, I work on myself to make myself better. My team should feel that I'm the right, right leader for them. They trust me and they respect me. Yes. And that's all it matters, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so you cannot put money on this problem. You cannot pay more to have good people. No, mm -hmm. because there will always be somebody who will pay more. You yes. know? They, they have to be aligned with you as a leader. They should look up to you that, okay, this is the guy that will grow us, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. 
and you should work on it yourself too. Okay. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. Yeah, my yeah pleasure, I've got my to know pleasure. a lot. Not only like you were my uh, just in this period of time like tutor <laughs> in maintaining a uh, good uh, style of living. Yeah. yeah thank, thank you so, so much. much. Yeah. Very nice. Right? Thank you everyone for watching this video to the end. Please don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and turn on post notification for the next coming ups. If you still haven't watched my other vlogs from Pakistan, check out these playlists. See you guys soon. Allah Hafiz. Bye bye.